Hello guys, welcome to the world of Oracle Database. Myself, Muhammad Kahar, and I am an Oracle Database trainer. So, we as a DBA, we face uh, issues known as invalid object. Sometime user just uh, send a mail to as a DBA to DBA like uh, some of our objects are invalid. Just check it out and make it valid. So basically, uh, we have to check from our end and then we have to see that the object is invalid or not. And if that is invalid, we have to validate it. So let me connect with database. Okay. Now, so first we need to check that uh, object is invalid or not. Okay. So we have a view known as db underscore objects. Okay. Now. So, so we need to check there is no row selected. It means none of the object is invalid. So let me show you how many are valid. We have a view known as uh, db underscore object. So select owner and object name. This is a uh, object type. And this one is the status. From DB underscore objects. As I already show you that uh, none of the objects in this particular database are invalid. So all are valid. Okay. So let me set these things mm, we have to set some more things like uh, object type Okay, I think uh, object name also. So honor a fifteen. Now it's good. So see, all the objects are valid. All are valid. Okay. So I'm I'm going to create a scenario and uh, I will make a procedure and then I will make it invalid. Okay. So let me show you. So first we have to connect with a particular user. So we have a user with other. Let me show you user select from DP underscore users. Where username is equal to other. This is open okay now let me connect with that particular user so connect username is author and password is also author connected let me check that how many tables he have so we have three tables known as t1 t2 and t3 so now i'm going to create a procedure first so create I think uh, or replace procedure and uh, his name is P. I'm giving name as P. Okay, as begin for uh, X in select asterisk from T1. The next table is T2 and the next one is T3. Okay, these are the table name. Now create a loop also. Null. Just end this loop and 
and this procedure also now see now uh, i just created a procedure name as p okay now so break on object underscore type skip one okay and we have to column status format let me set some format for status okay so a10 okay now select object underscore type and then object name also then we have a status uh, from dba user underscore objects where status is equal to invalid okay order by object type object type and uh, object name so uh, as we check here that uh, uh, no one is invalid here okay now so let me do one more thing like i am going to create uh, i am going to basically alter the table okay so let me do one more thing so alter table t1 add a int so table altered now i'm going to check this again see here now the procedure p is invalid so we have a script util rp you can run or you can compile a particular procedure also so we check that we have a procedure which is invalid so we can run this particular procedure uh, separately also or you can run a script known as util rp so that all the objects which is invalid will change to valid so first we have to connect with sysdb okay now just run this command again so no row selected so connect with user and check this in user this is a particular procedure which is created by other user so alter basically i am going to compile alter procedure p compile altered now No row selected. So basically, in this session, I showed you that how to make a valid object to invalid. So I just created a procedure and make it invalid, and then I just compile that particular procedure and make it valid. So none of the procedure are invalid now; all are valid. Okay. Hope you like this session, and if anything, 
then just let me know this is my contact number for training purpose you have to contact with me on this number thank you so much